Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following physics example. A child swings on a swing so that her center of mass is located 2.4 meters from the point where the rope is attached to the tree. If she swings so that her maximum amplitude causes the rope to make an angle of 47 degrees with the vertical, calculate the child's maximum speed joining the swing. Step number one, draw a diagram. So right now I'm starting with the ground and I am going to draw a tree. So this looks like a tree, I hope. And here's the major concept. I'm going to grab a different color. This is going to be basically the moon. And of course, she is swinging on a swing. Let's pretend the swing is going to be right here. So the information given is going to be 2.4 meters. And the way you think about this is imagine this piece of rope and you're swinging this, which looks something like that. And the concept is you want to find out the maximum speed. So at this moment, what is the maximum speed? So we will write down all the information in a moment, but the most important part I want to draw your attention to is understanding this measurement right here, which I'm going to call H for now. We'll put a subscript in a moment, but while recognizing that this is going to be 2.4 meters, and we need to take 2.4 minus this measurement, which I'll get to once we draw the triangle. So again, this is very important because once you understand this piece of information, the rest of this is very, very, very doable. So again, let's draw this out. If you think about this triangle, let me highlight this for you so you can see this triangle is right here. Now look at the given 47 degrees with the vertical. This angle is 47 degrees. This is still going to be 2.4 meters. Remember, this is 2.4, 2.4, 2.4, 2.4. Let's say this is going to be X which means this is going to be X. If you think about cosine, which basically means adjacent over hypotenuse, cosine of 47 degrees is exactly X divided by 2.4. So X equals to 2.4 cosine of 47 degrees, which we'll come back to. So the point I'm trying to make right now before we start is that H, and again, I'll put a subscript in a moment. This is going to be 2.4 which is the entire length of this rope, minus x, which is 2.4 cosine 47 degrees. So we're going to come back to this. Now, here are the actual steps. So yes, you could write down the given, which is kind of what I just did. What are we looking for? Maximum speed. So V max. Now, here's how you do it. Let's write it here. A and S means I'm going to analyze this and we'll provide the solution at the same time. So you always start with the conservation of energy. So the energy before equals to the energy after. And again, you can write down E equals to E prime, or I like to write down E before equals E after. When it comes to energy, there are two major energy that you want to think about, specifically the kinetic energy, which is EK. There's gravitational potential energy, which is EG. Same thing here. Now, if you want to distinguish the left from the right, there are many ways. You can say before, you can say after, you can say one and two. So I'll leave that to you in terms of notation. But remember, if you start with the potential gravitational energy, that's going to be MGH. Same thing here. And of course, we can denote this as one and two. And M is actually the same. And in fact, it's going to be independent of mass, which you find out in a moment. Likewise, if you think about the kinetic energy, which is half mv squared, again, to distinguish this, this is going to be one and two, which turns out to be a maximum in a moment. So again, conservation of energy before and after is the same in the closed system. And now here comes the most important part. Notice I can cross out M from both sides. So this is independent of M, the mass of the object, in this case, um, the human being here. So I continue here and I think about this first part. So I'm going to redraw this again for you. If you think about 
this specific location. This is when she starts to swing. At that specific moment, she has maximum potential gravitational energy. And because she's not moving, there are no kinetic, sorry, there's no kinetic energy whatsoever in the before picture. I am gonna write down G, H1. Now, think about the energy after. The moment she starts swinging, there is no gravitational potential energy, but there is kinetic energy. And in fact, that's exactly what we're looking for. So V2 is really V max. That's what we're looking for here. So now the difficult part is over because G H1 equals to half V max squared. You can multiply both sides by two and the opposite of squaring something is to find the square root. Yes, there's the plus and minus case mathematically speaking, but in the physics behind this example, only the positive case matters. Now, let's go back to the beginning. This that we calculated is what I define as H1. So this is H1, not just H, but H1 in the context of the before and after. And now I go back and I plug in the following. Gravity, of course, is 9.81. H1, again, in this case, is going to be 24, or I should say 2.4, <clears throat> minus 2.4 times cosine of 47 degrees. So take your calculator, turn it on, press clear, take a moment, you can pause the video, work it out. When you're done, press play again. Welcome back. So this should be 3.8696, 3, 3, 2, 1, 5. And of course, if you round this to two sig figs, or if you round this to one decimal place, approximately 3.9 meters per second. Now the final statement, I think you know how to write, so I'll leave that to you. So again, this is how you solve this problem. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your physics life. Consider to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.